Two years after a devastating gas explosion, students will return to a rebuilt Minnehaha Academy. The explosion in August of 2017 killed two people and injured nine others. Workers were replacing a meter when the building filled with natural gas and exploded in a fiery blast. The entire center portion collapsed, killing two employees. Today, Bill Hudson toured the newly rebuilt school. It is a day none who are here will ever forget, of course. A stately school along West River Parkway was in shambles, and two adored staffers were dead. But from that tragedy grows a new beginning. So as you come off the staircase on every floor, you're met by a commons area like this. Under budget and on time, just 400 days after construction began, Minnehaha Academy is ready for students. We wanted a space that um, recognizes how teachers best teach and how students best learn. And so uh, this space creates that for students. On August 2nd, 2017, a natural gas explosion leveled the central portion of the century-old campus, killing custodian John Carlson and receptionist Ruth Berg. Wood benches now memorialize both. Steel beams also carry signatures of alumni and students. More than anything, it provided us an opportunity to really think another 100 years out and build a space that is adaptable and flexible and, and takes advantage of the wonderful environment around us. So they redesigned the school using 21st century styling. There's more open space for collaboration and classrooms are meant to be multifunctional. But with the new are tributes to the past. Salvaged bricks hang in tribute and old stair treads are now floor tiles. And so these lockers are, uh, were, were reclaimed from the rubble. Modern touches include bird safe glass and greeting students and visitors is a copper clad entry to a place of learning with an earthly warmth. Students return to open the new school year next week after two years at a temporary campus ready to put this tragedy in the past. In Minneapolis, Bill Hudson, WCCO 4 News.